So I was going for a nice walk down the river and then I stumbled across this somewhat CGI looking torch and I tapped it and then all of this happened. And now we've got to go and explore. Hello everyone, my name's James and this is Shrouded Citadel. It is an AR game as you can see. It's our sponsored feature from the week. We do them from time to time, but we tell you up front and I'm going to do the sensible thing and walk into a massive flaming spire now clearly i'm recording this outside you probably hear some noise and some wind blowing and that kind of thing but uh this is how this game has to be played you require a decent amount of space to deal with this one and the appropriate environment that little message that's telling me that i'm pointing the camera a little bit too high up for too long and uh, it needs to be angled at the floor so we can see look all of this this is showing you just how much space you need i am walking along in real time this isn't one of those things where you stay within a like a small 8x8 eight eight area and lean around a bit like some vr games you might have played this is the full immersion experience i'm going to go in here now i've got to keep my bearings while i'm doing this because i am in a place a public place with people looking at me i'm not going to lie a bit strangely however i'm doing this for you folks i'm doing i'm doing the missions i'm doing the searching now this this feels like a twisty turny puzzle that i want to get to but there's this kind of glass in the way. I don't like the look of that. Oh, and also, what's this? This... Oh, look at him! Look at Tubby Cthulhu! Oh, he's adorable! I want to give him a hug. He's got dreads. This is great. So, what are we dealing with here? There's a chain connecting to that. Hmm... Okay, I feel like there's some puzzle stuff that I need to do that I can't get to yet. I'm tapping on here, and I'm tapping on the Cthulhu lad, and nothing is happening. So, I'm going to explore somewhere else. Now, of course, there are issues you can run into with this kind of game and those issues are really space i live in the uk we don't have huge houses over here and lots of space so what do you do if you don't have the room well you've got that button in the top right hand corner you see that camera if i put my thumb on there and then spin around it effectively locks the entire structure in one place and then i can spin it and put it down wherever i want and that allows me to reposition uh, everything so I don't for example walk into a wall or in my case walk into the actual river which would be bad this looks extremely cool I've got a gun I've got a large gun I wasn't expecting that okay now <laughs> wow I genuinely wasn't expecting to pick up a big gun then what do I do let me just press this and see what happens press the middle of the screen whoa whoa okay so we've got ourselves some kind of plasma cannon looking thing can I blast it to bits I can right this solves a problem. Let's head back into that room. I'm gonna make sure I'm going the right way, yeah. We're gonna head back to where we saw that puzzle and we're gonna blast away the shieldy bit, which, if my bearings are right, is over here. This is quite fun because we've all been locked inside for ages, haven't we? So I get to wander around shooting at invisible things. Have it. One and two. Yes! There we go. Now. If I go up to this and I use my finger, yeah, I can just tap it one by one and change the symbols. This is good. Now, I don't actually know what symbols I need to change yet. I probably need to find that somewhere else. So let's explore a different place. The game has a number of floors in it. This is the first floor that I'm showing you because this is the one of the first opportunities I've got to explore the game properly. Uh, so it's got a number of different layers to, a, to the dungeon and you'll wind up investigating, ooh, different challenges and I've already looked ahead in the game whoa speaking of which we've got ghosts <laughs> ghosts are appearing I actually knew that there was going to be a ghost in this game somewhere and I still got caught slightly off guard okay so that's worth bearing in mind there are also other things like traps you've got spinning saw blades you've got spikes coming out the floor a lot of the stuff you'd see in standard horror games uh, and adventure RPGs but the difference is it's sort of playing out in real space in real time and uh, it's adding a certain something I'm not going to lie if I stand back I'm looking for clues I'm looking for those symbols I need to know how to unlock I'm wondering maybe if the symbols are on the little Cthulhu idol thing itself perhaps and that I've missed them but I just want to do a full exploration first and clearly we need to get through there that's that's the end of the level right there I'm sure that little portal is where we need to go. All right, so let's head back. This is giving me, for the first time in a year and a half, a little bit of actual exercise. Probably for the best. I want to make sure there wasn't a door on the right-hand side of this, was there? No, there wasn't, and there's no way back round. So I'm thinking it's all contained in that little room. This is the room of clues. 
So let's do a proper sweep. So we've got some information on that wall. Yes, look at that. There we go. See, I was trying to avoid pointing up too much to disturb the tracking, but we've got ourselves R and then an arrow and then an N. And is it going to be the same on the other side? Tell me it's the same on the other side. Um, let's try that first, okay? We're going to copy this. So start with R, then arrow, then N. Let's do that. So let's kick till we hear... I say hear, I can't actually hear anything at the moment because I'm out and about. And I'm recording this on a different device. R. Let's find the arrow. Uh, yep. And then N. Did we say yes? Oh, hello. There it is. Sorted. Hello, buddy. How's it going? You know that thing where I said that you were uh, lovely earlier? Well, take that into account when I touch you inappropriately. Whee! These icons show how many idols you need to collect to progress to the next floor. So apparently, I've got that one idol, and I need another. So that's one <laughs> glowy dude down. Let's find his glowy pal. Now I'm hoping, if I go, let's say, double check through here, and see if this is open yet. Oh, I know what I have to do. Clearly I've got to put the idols here, right? That would make sense. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So we're one idol in. Now, have we opened up another door? I should probably check where I spawned as well, because I spawned back here. And it's looking to me... Is there anything on the... Mm, yeah, it seems to be going around to the left there. Oh yeah, look at that. Right, this is the bit where I might walk into the river. <laughs> you can't you can't see because of all of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb here and I'm going to spin this round. Now, for you, nothing is happening. For me, I'm reversing the uh, position of the entire dungeon so that I don't fall into water. Let's shoot this a couple of times and see if we can get past it. I'm thinking no. No. So this... Oh, hello. I think this spawn point is just that. A spawn point and nothing else. Which leaves that big room that we found. I'm going to move us around again. Here we go. Lovely. So that big room we found up there. Let's see if anything else has opened up. I wonder. Ooh, it looks spooky. It was alright when there was a gun in it. Now I'm creeped out. So, what have we got? We have runic things on the wall. We have the force field thing that I blasted through. Nothing there. Is there anything of interest sitting on the table? <gasps> Perhaps? No, we've already... We already took the gun. And I don't suppose the gun counts as another object, does it? So let's head back and see what else we can find. I'm wondering if there is something devastatingly obvious that I've missed. Perhaps something else opened up in this room, I wonder. Let's have a peek. Let's go around this way. Oh! Oh! I didn't expect that to happen. Okay then, we know what must be done. Blast it. Fantastic. And there's another cheerful looking chappy. And we've got more info on the wall. Where is it? There it is. So arrow, I uh, don't know what you call that second one, and then an N. Let's get it done. We know the drill. Arrow first. That little arrow head looking A symbol. That one. And then an N, did we say? Yes. Tracking it up. Beautiful. Tap. Grab. Right. Let's head back out. And let's get the hell out of here. So, back into the corridor. That's the spooky bit. I'm going to spin us around slightly. There we go. The thing I was concerned about at first with this game is that I didn't have a lot of space in which to play. And I felt like I was running into walls all over the place or hitting real-world objects that was interfering with my ability to play, but using that little icon at the top, being able to spin round wherever you want and reposition, really does help a heck of a lot. 
Okay. I think that makes us victors of the first level. I'm very close to the water here. So <laughs> this is an impressive ending one way or another. And we're on floor two. And with that, we have completed the first level of the game. So the name of it is Shrouded Citadel. It should be out right now on Android and iPhone. Thank you ever so much for watching. I will see you next time.